Where's the lace, babe? I can't find it. Welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I know typically on Fridays I do my watch me recreate but I don't want to end this series because people like it too much so I'm not gonna do like a finale but I also want to start switching up my Fridays a little bit just so you know I can do other content I'm still gonna be doing a wig but instead I'm gonna be testing out products I bought this stuff from Erica J. I'm pretty sure if you like do wigs in here, you already know of her. And so I want to try out her lace glue. I got the small size and it's so tiny. I mean, this is good for me because I don't really use lace glue as it is, but I kind of want the big size. So if it works really good, I'm ordering big size. And I got the remover, which I don't think I'm going to use in today's video because once I install this, I don't want to take it off immediately. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then I got the skin guard, obviously, that you put on before the glue. And so, I have my wig made. It looks a hot mess because I haven't customized it or anything. It's just a plain wavy wig. I still have to cut and style it. Like, I want to make it really, really cute. I want to tweeze it, customize it. It's like HD film lace, so it should look really good. I'm debating on if I want to do the whole bog head method. Like, do I want to commit and just go all out? Mmm. <sighs> I don't like to have ball cap methods, but it does protect your edges. So let's just go all out and do a whole installation. So the first thing I need to do is push back my edges. So I'm gonna take this gel to do that. I'll just take a little edge brush. I'm gonna push them back. I look so tan, and it's because I tanned yesterday. And I can really see a difference. Like, I keep looking at my monitor like, wow, like, you look tan. Mm. <sighs> I tried this tan lotion, and I've never looked tan before. So maybe that's why I'm so shook. But, well, I mean, I've gotten tan, but, like, I've never actively went in, you know, tan. But yesterday, I tried out this lotion that Alyssa actually ordered for us, and I, you know, got it from her. And it works really good, apparently. At first I was scared though, because when I got inside my face was completely red. I'm like, damn, I'm freaking screwed. But I put aloe gel and it cooled down. Alright, let's put on this stocking cap. It's like my color exactly, so I don't even think I'll need to um, put foundation on top of it. So let's put her on. Is that hair? I'm just cutting holes through the ears. Everyone knows Glam's on take him with this trick. And it's genius. Ah, shit. My earring wants to be a part of the stocking cap. Ouch. I got the tool that Erica uses all the time, too. I just feel like a professional already just having this tool. Does she? I've watched so many of Erica's videos. Did she put the skin guard on first? I'm actually in a recent video, I'm pretty sure I saw her put on top of the stocking cap too. I'm gonna do that. I, I feel like I saw her do that. That girl, she be coming up with new techniques every day. And I just be watching. Let me just wipe on top. Cause it'll still get to my skin, you know? I like that the smell isn't strong at all. I like that. Because I've used other skin guards before and the smell was hella strong. Typically, I use like the got to be spray, but Erica uses the glue to mold this down. And apparently, it gets you like a really nice mold down. So, we're gonna do that. So, I'm just gonna start applying little dots. I'm gonna do one side at a time. And then you take this end of the tool she has to spread it out. So like I put it like a little bit in front of my hairline so I have room to push it back. Cause I feel like it's easier to like push back than it is to push forward. For me at least. I don't wanna jinx myself, but I have a feeling this is gonna be like a good install. I don't know why, but I feel that, that this is gonna come out really good. So remember this statement, and let's see if I'm right at the end of the video. I 
And I like that this tool catches like the extra glue. So when you push back and say you need a little bit more, you're catching the glue as you're pushing it back. So you can then go in and use more of it. So I like that. It's a pretty cool little tool. In between this, I'm gonna be wiping this just to make sure it doesn't get dirty and you know the product doesn't build up. And now we wait until this gets clear. Okay, so I think it's dry. I mean, it looks dry, it's clear. And I hit it with the blow dryer, so I'm gonna cut this off now. I'm really max. I lost my favorite pair of scissors, like the sharpest ones I own. Ugh, these aren't the same. These are a little sharper, yeah, these are sharper. My other ones, the ones I used to cut my hands all the time. <laughs> They were so perfect. I just like, I don't cut the back of the stocking cap. I just tuck it. Which is dawn on me. I have a whole ponytail back there. Oh, crap. I need to like put my ponytail lower. Cause right now it's like in the middle of my head and it's pretty big. It'll definitely make my wig look lumpy in the back. The wig I have is like a closure wig. So the sides kind of don't matter, but I'm gonna still act like they do. I'm gonna try my wig real quick to see if the sides are poking out if they're not we should be good but it looks like they are yeah this side's for sure poking out yeah i gotta cut if you ever like bring the stocking cap a little too far down just like lightly peel it up and then cut off a little bit of it measure again yeah that's enough that's enough cut off for sure And the front looks good. Yeah, I wanna bring it that far down. So now I'm gonna apply some powder. All right, so now I'm gonna apply another layer of the glue. I'm trying to bait if I want to pull a little bit of this back, just a little bit. Because once I apply the glue, the glue needs to be a little bit in front of this, and I feel like it'll be too low on my forehead. So I'm going to just cut off a little bit more of this. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to apply the glue, but I'm only going to do like a few inches in the front. Because like I said, I have a closure wig, it's like six by six. So I'm not gonna do like the whole entire thing because that is a waste. And with the extra glue, you know, to make sure I'm like doing like a thin coat, I'm just wiping it on this cotton pad that has the, uh, the skin guard. If it was dry, it would just pick up cotton and it would get on this and it would just mess it up. So I'm gonna let this layer dry and then we'll do one more. And then we'll apply. That layer dried really fast. I mean, there's still like a little that needs to dry right here, but like that dried faster than when I first applied it, so that's good. I'll put on a second layer. I don't want to be spicy and do three layers. I've never done three layers before. I've always done two. Have I ever done three? I've never done three. Let's do three. F it. All right, so we're putting that last layer. Layer number three. I'm using less product that I've been using, so I peeped that I've been applying a little bit too much and I don't want to waste. This tool makes applying glue so much easier. Like, yeah, you can use like a popsicle stick and all that other stuff, but like, it's something about the way that it's just shaped that makes it like way easier. Okay, that looks pretty dry to me. So let's, you know, put this wig on. Whenever like I'm installing the wig with glue though, I like put it on from the back that way the lace doesn't hit the glue part before I can like really place it in the right position. So do that if you're scared to like mess it up. So let's just bring this forward, making sure 
It's in a cool little position. Before I press it down, I'm really making sure it's in a cool position. This looks crazy. I really have to style this. So I'm gonna take my comb to really help press that down. I've done no customization to this wig, by the way. I haven't plugged, haven't done anything. All right, now let's cut this lace. I'm gonna do like one slit in the middle with my scissors first. Take my eyebrow razor and just drag it along the lace like so. It looks so good, press it. Okay, hold on. I could see where I'm gonna have to add a little more glue and bring the glue a little bit forward. Oh, I didn't cut off enough of that. Um, it's okay, I'm gonna cut it. I'm definitely gonna have to cut off a little more of the stocking cap too, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add a little more glue right here and then cut off a little more of the stocking cap. I have patience though. I really wanna make sure this looks nice. Oh shit, oh! The fact that like it's already this like, and I haven't even like tied it down or anything. Okay, so let's just tackle this really fast before it annoys me. So I'm gonna take some of this glue and put it directly onto this applicator. Dude, this tool is so good. I like this. The shape of it's perfect for like applying glue, especially like if you need to apply a little bit more, it's perfect. So while that dries, I'm gonna do some plucking. I'm gonna part a little bit in the front and I'm just gonna start to really pluck heavily to lower the density of this closure. And make the hairline look more natural, obviously. So I'm gonna take a water bottle and start to wet up here, just so like it's easier to pluck. I alternate between plucking wet and dry. Sometimes I like to plug dry because it gives you a better idea of what it's going to look like if you're wearing the hair dry. But then sometimes when you wet it, it makes it a little bit easier. It just depends on the hair. But this closure is so dense. I'm like almost trying to bald it a little bit. So I want to lay really flat when I style it. All right guys, I'm in the middle of plucking, but I definitely got the lace wet, but it doesn't seem to be moving. It turned like a little white, but I think that's because like, it wasn't like a thousand percent dry before I went in with the water, um, cause I didn't like tie it. So I'm being careful not tugging it too hard, but it's not moving. I'll say that, but I definitely should have uh, tied it first before doing this. It's just, it's just this closure is so dense, I wanted to customize it ASAP. And then before I really do my baby hairs and style it, I'm gonna tie it down to make sure the glue is like really, really molded. Because when you do these kind of installs, like yeah, the glue will be dry and it won't move, but you wanna tie it down and like let that shit marinate, you know, so it's really, 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 really dry and settled in before you like wet it or do too much to it. But I'm gonna just customize this front part just to get out of the way. Then we'll tie it down and then we'll style this wig because right now it looks great. Okay, so I finished customizing and it makes such a huge difference. I know I'm gonna have to add a powder to this lace part. I can tell it's gonna be a little too light. But before I even do my baby hairs, I'm going to like put a ponytail and put this back. 
and I'm gonna tie down the lace to really make sure it's molded in. And I've been seeing people like use an elastic band to do this. I'm not sure who started it, but I saw Slave by Jordan do this. Oh shit, I've never done this. I saw Slave by Jordan do this. And his wigs be looking good, so I'm gonna do it. Let's do a longer piece. Make my life easier. I'm trying to like stretch it and I'm struggling. I'm gonna let this melt for like 10, 15 minutes, girl. I'm gonna take this shit off because it's already hurting. It's very tight. I feel like I did it wrong. Guys, it's been like two minutes. I'm taking this off. It, hurt. it hurts. You know, the lace is melted, okay? But that is tight. Oh my God. She's laid. I'm not, mm-mm. Let me just, you know. Trust the process, but that hurt. If I gotta tie it again, I'm gonna use a regular scarf. But that hurt, I'm not doing it. Ooh, I did a really good job on the plucking though. Woo! Okay. I feel like, I feel like this is so chaotic. I look crazy. Once everything is like, you know, style, this is gonna look really good. I'm just trying to debate if I want it like straight or not. I kinda wanna make it straight, like bone straight. Make sure that part's in the middle. Okay guys, I sectioned the hair off and I'm just gonna straighten it to get it really flat and like lay it. And then if I want to, I'll like add curls to it. But I'm gonna press it all out. So in one second, you guys are gonna see it all be straight. Maybe I'll show you guys me doing the front part, but this back part, I'm just gonna cut it out because it's gonna take me forever. But I'll show you guys how I get the front part really flat. But this is straightened really fast. I only use like, I think two bundles. Two bundles. I only use two bundles for this wig, so it should lay pretty flat. All right, guys. So I got to the front, and I'm starting to not look crazy. It's gonna look good. Well, this is gonna look good. What the fuck? I mean, I'm not trying to curse. What did I say in the beginning of this video? I said it's gonna look good, didn't I? So I'm actually gonna go in later with a hot comb, but right now I'm gonna try to press it as flat as possible with my flat iron, cause this hair is pressing out really easily. So it's like it's already laying flat pre-hot comb. That's how you know it's gonna look good. Ugh. And what I do, like, I like really, really press it. Like, I grab onto that stuff hard. That sounded gross, I almost said shit. Ooh, this is gonna look good, guys. I might even do my makeup to, you know, seal the deal and look really cute at the end of this video. Cause I've looked crazy the whole fucking time. Like when I lay, ooh, sorry, sorry. I got, I can't look at myself cause this is gonna look good. Like when I really customize, I gotta tweeze this a little more. I gotta add some powder and just like really bring this together. This is gonna look really good. So let me go straight this side. And then we about to really, really, really get into our gig. Like we're not even there yet. We're about to really, you know, let me just finish this side. All right guys, I finished pressing the hair out, and to be honest, I don't think we even need to hot comb this because it's so like, I don't think we need to hot comb it. It's like so flat. Before I do the baby hairs, I wanna, no, I need a smaller brush. I wanna just add some powder to this part. Cause it's a little too like light in person. It looks a little bald, but I'll show you how to fix that. Cause I kind of replugged, but that's okay. Cause I know how to fix things. So we pluck a little bit more of this. So now I'm gonna take my eyebrow razor and just drag along like that to cut that. And now because I use glue, I can use foam to mold the front. I don't have Erica's fluff stuff that should be it be selling out way too fast, but I have this, I don't know what it's called, but it smells really good. The girl who braids my hair, she gave it to me. So let's lay those. I'm gonna push this back too, a little bit. I never lay with foam, so like I'm not an expert at this. Ah, I don't know how to lay hairs like Erica, bro. She's like master baby hairs. I know one thing though, this lace is laid. Like I'm mad that this isn't a frontal because I would be even more elite, you know? I would, you know, I would be able to do more 
but this is laid. I need to do the other side to kind of figure out exactly how I want the baby hairs and how many swoops I want. Let me pluck a little more of this out so they're not too thick. Wait a second. <laughs> this is looking so good. I can do a few more tweaks though. Cause I'm seeing stuff. I'm like, okay, I can make it look a little more natural. But this is looking so good. This honestly makes, this makes me want to use glue for all my installs. Cause like the security you get. Ugh. And just the whole, the, the, the seamlessness is just, it's a little more elite, I feel like. I'm gonna still use my gel though, but still, like, I'm gonna start using this glue too. Cause I like how this looks. The thing about glue, I, I actually really like glue. I don't like removing it. <laughs> That's why I always just use gel, cause you know, you need a little water and you straight. With glue, it's a whole process. Like, I hate removing glue. Even when you have the remover, it's still annoying. That's why I never use glue. It's not because I don't like the glue, it's the removal process that I don't like. You know, at first I thought it looked a little too like plucked right here, but I, I kind of like that look. Like, I don't mind it. But if you ever over pluck, you just take a black shadow. I'm gonna a little black and brown actually, because this is 1B. And just take like a fluffy brush and just lightly dab on top. Don't put too much though, because you don't want it to be obvious, but like, this will kind of create like a shadow so it looks less bald i guess you could say for lack of a better word so just literally just take like a, a small brush and just lightly dab like that i don't know if you guys can even tell the difference but if you ever feel like you over plucked just put a little black shadow with the brush and you're good to go see that already looks a little better to me that looks better you can't tell me it don't because it does <laughs> that was aggressive i didn't mean it like that but like you know what i'm saying Put a little bit in this front part too, because I think I over plucked a little bit right here. Just a little bit though. I need to put a little shadow where I over plucked right here. And you just press on top of that. See that? Fixed it. Now, if I would have dyed this hair like a jet black, I would be able to do this trick I want to do that I saw Slay by Jordan do. And that's where like, if you really want to like a really defined part, you like put a comb and like use some hairspray. But this is in jet black, and I only have jet black spray. So if I spray with jet black, it could be obvious. Cause this is one B, I didn't dye this hair. So I'm just gonna like define the part with some concealer. Okay. Wow, I look really fucking good, period. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because it's light, but it's not too light. I don't like when my parts are too light. Just take an angle brush drag it like that and then I like to go in and like massage it in so it looks natural <sighs> am I back like I really do this shit bro sorry to curse but like I'm like I really do this shit okay wow 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 I didn't really call my mom for this one Cause I'm already knowing she will be shook. Ooh, we look good on the FaceTime too. Where's my lace? I'm gonna cry. Okay. Girl, I'm gonna need you to answer. I know you're at home. This looks so good. Mom, I really need you right now. Look at my hair. That's your, your hair? No. Girl, it's a wig. It looked like it though. Where's the lace, babe? I can't find it. It looks so good, right? All right, let me close up this video. I'm shook. <laughs> Guys, one of my friends called and I got so distracted and you missed something really amazing. So you see how this part looks a little better? I just took a little bit of hair from this section and brought it down 
and that looks so much better like because i kind of the frontal looks a little bald you know it was giving very much bald so we don't want that i fixed it um so last thing i want to do i want to cut this a little bit you guys know me i'm not gonna cut it super short though but it's something about it that like mm, i don't know I feel like it'll look better if I just cut the ends. It'll flow a little better. Oh my god, these scissors suck! I miss my old scissors! I don't know where they are though. Oh, sorry, I just yelled. Honestly, I look so good. I don't even need to do makeup to complete the transformation. No cap. Like, this looks really good. I don't need makeup. I'm just gonna bump the ends. I'm also lazy and I don't wanna do a whole face. That's the truth. I also don't think I need it either. That was amazing because honestly speaking that wig how it was looking when i first put it on i don't know what was going to happen for us i predicted that this will it would come out perfect and i was right i uh, i'm in love i truly am erica's glue i mean i ain't going i ain't gonna rip my shit but like girl i'm gonna keep this on for at least at minimum a week i kind of have to if I would have known this would have came out so good, I would have braided my hair underneath to put some oil, you know, to let that grow underneath. Because I'm going to keep this on, but I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation because that's what it was. Because that wig started off very sad. My review on this glue, um, I feel like I'll be able to give a more accurate review in like a week or two to see how long it holds. But just the process and like how it applies, how it dries. And just like if it's beginner friendly, I totally think it is. Like I like the glue. I like that the smell isn't too strong either. I recognize that because I've tried other glues and sometimes glues can smell a little strong. I like that hers doesn't smell strong at all. So the glue is definitely a yes for me so far. But in like a week, it depends on how long I keep this wig on. I'll leave a pinned comment down below to let you guys know, okay, like it lasts very long. Um, this is how it's going. I'll give you guys an update if you guys want one. But so far... I don't know man, I don't know if it's just because I'm using Erica J's products and everyone knows that she's like a legend when it comes to wigs that like she touched these and I touched them and I came up with this like this is probably the best install I've done and I could lay a wig you know I've already proved that but this just this looks so professional like my baby hairs came out good like this looks really good and if you watch my wig videos you know like this is this is an install this is good. This looks perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I might see you guys tomorrow. I've been vlogging. I just don't know if the vlog came out good. So I mean, we'll see. But if I don't see you guys tomorrow, because I want to start incorporating like vlogs, I'll see you guys on Monday. I'll probably see you on Monday. Mm -hmm.